And hello everybody and welcome to this month's Art Snacks unboxing video. We are in June, my hair is a mess, I'm very tired, but I love you so much, I'm doing the video anyway. Let's get started. Well, here's on what's on the menu for June. And with, of course, my favorite part and yours, the joke. What's an artist's favorite swimming technique? The brush stroke, because of course. Let's start with the item because... Um, as you guys likely know, because I'm subscribed to Art Snacks, I am also on the Art Snacks Mix, which is the Art Snacks, Art Snacks, blah, blah, that's hard to say three times in a row, exclusive chat. And sometimes when we're nice, when we behave, we get some previews. And this was this month's previewed item, which is the Art Snacks and KUM Automatic Long Point Sharpener, 1065 retail. And once I get it out of the little box, you'll understand why. Limited edition Art Snacks exclusive. Sharpen your pencils in style with the automatic long point sharpener by KUM. We collaborated with KUM, you guys are doing it on purpose at this point, to produce this limited edition version in Art Snacks teal and it'll never be available anywhere else. There are two steps to using this tool, which I found interesting. One, you sharpen your pencil with the first blade to shape the wood. Two, sharpen it with the second blade to shape the, le the lead, lead. Professional, not me. The lead. It features two spare blades and an automatic stop function to prevent prevent breakage. So don't worry about over sharpening. I just said I was tired, and I just proved it. Maybe I'm tired on every video. Maybe that's what's going on. So, box is off, and on the floor. Second half is off. And here is the sharpener itself. Here is the KUM logo on one end, the Art Snacks logo on the other, and it is in fact an Art Snacks teal, and I love it so much. And we're gonna be careful. I opened the, the top here because there are some spare blades on top, and I don't want them to slip out. Now, I'm not sure. One, two, okay, I got it. <laughs> this. This is the one where you sharpen the wood, and this is the one where you sharpen the lead. And it's a good thing they sent us a pencil to test this out, because it's the first time I do this. I'm assuming it's because there are some artists, I'm not one of those, but there are some artists that like to take a uh, craft knife and shape their pencils like that, like they're whittling. They're whittling the pencil, basically, to have as much lead as possible. Like, sometimes I see, what, like one inch of lead to scrape the wood off, to get more lead. So I'm guessing this is basically the same thing, just cleaner, I suppose. So I'm looking forward to testing this. I already like it, it's just a two-step process. I don't, I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't do it. Speaking of two-step process, I used a little bit of eyeshadow on my lipstick today just to make it shiny. And uh, I also, Use the same eyeshadow on my eyes. I was trying to go for a more subdued look today for a little item that's coming later. Next is the Sakura Sumo Grip Retractable Eraser 480 Retail. Right here. Staff favorite. Good start already. Every artist needs a sturdy, reliable eraser. This month, we're introducing the Sumo Grip Retractable Eraser, featuring innovative micro pores foam technology. This eraser is able to pick up even the tiniest graphite particles. It's foamy, but it pretty much feels like an eraser. It's harder than the Mu eraser that I've been using. So we'll see about the micro porous thing. Minimal pressure is needed to erase dark marks, making it easy on your hands and the paper, which is always something I would need because I tend to have a death grip on anything I draw with. The refillable holder has a convenient retractable design and protects the eraser when not in use, which, once again, is a very good thing because I've been carrying my Mu eraser in my little uh, pack, my little uh, travel kit, I should say, and the poor thing is kind of... <coughs> it's kind of cracking, to put it politely. And next is the Carandash Edelweiss Pencil at 110 Retail. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have one. I have a couple Caran pencils. 
I'm not sure which one it would be because I have a bunch. So I'm still going to read it for if this is your first video, but I'm pretty sure I already have one of those. This one is a tree bee. Yeah. Dun -dun. Don't be fooled by this pencil's simple design. The Caran d'Ache Edelweiss pencil is anything but basic with its high quality cedar casing and smooth core. It has a precise long lasting point and is easily erasable. So try it out with your new sharpener and eraser. Well, yeah, that's why you put it in there. <laughs> uh, interest. That's interesting. I didn't notice it before, but the uh, the lead seems to look like it was cut a little bit instead of sharpened, if you understand what I mean. Like when I was talking about whittling earlier. I don't know if that's normal. Or maybe it was sharpened with this. I don't know, it wasn't there. It always came on that shit. Yeah, 3B. Here is the body. I don't know what's going on with my... Uh, webcam today it seems to be working well I don't understand but I am going to work with it <laughs> next the little pen I was talking to you about the Shinhan art touch twin brush marker at seven dollars and eighty cents retail experience the touch of real brush strokes with a marker the touch twin brush marker features a flexible fiber brush nib on one end Ta -da! focus Thank you. Doink. And a medium wide chisel nib on the other. I'm running out of hands. There we go. Express a wide range of techniques with this alcohol based marker. The controlled ink flow and quick drying time lets you create even the most detailed artwork. An added bonus to this marker, the ink is refillable and nibs are replaceable. Why was I excited? Um, first of all, it's basically a uh, Copic clone, but it's supposed to be a good quality Copic clone. Because I was like, oh, I'm getting a touch marker this month. It's going to be a little cheaper because Copics now are around $10. And then I saw the price at $7.80 and I'm like, eh, not that much cheaper. <laughs> so what I am going to do with this Shinhan touch, I'm going to do things a little differently this month. Uh, where did I put it? Way over there. I am going to be trying it out with stuff that's not in the box on purpose just to see how well it works. So what's going to happen? I'm going to use it with my Copic blender, my brush Copic blender, which is basically full of uh, alcohol thinner, basically, to see if it blends. And I am going to use it with its Copic equivalent, which I have seen. Let's see. The Shinhan here is the R8 Rose Pink. If, oh wow, hey, my camera's going really good today. I'm, I'm suspicious now. And um, the equivalent from what I've been seeing is the R43 Bougainville. Oh, I guess the FBI agent assigned to looking at my stuff noticed that the f focus was working too well and uh, I was getting suspicious and he decided to look away for a minute. So I'm going to see how well these blend, just for fun, and if it works well, then I might get a couple more colors of this thing. We'll see when we get there, but it's going to be fun, I assure you. Next, uh, come here, you. We have another Zig product. You guys know I love my Zig products. The Zig Millennium Pen. 0.5 millimeter at 199 retail. Your artwork will last a millennium with this fine point pen. I don't care, I'm not gonna last one millennium. The Zig Millennium pen is permanent and light fast, so it will not fade over time. After drying, the water-based pigment ink is smudge, fade, and waterproof, which makes it <laughs> perfect for all types of work. To get the best performance from this pen, be sure to store it horizontally. Yes, because I have so much room to place stuff horizontally. And this month's candy is a Crababy Extra Sour Bubble Gum. So knowing me, it's going to be extra sour for like three seconds. And this month's sticker is a beautiful green with a blue eraser. So there we go. Now it comes down to my favorite part, which I'm already ready for. The testing part. And I'll see you guys after the commercial break. <laughs> And 
we're back. Well, this was rather interesting. First of all, here is the piece. It is indeed pink diamond because let's be honest, I was absolutely thrilled to get a pink pen instead of blue or purple. So let's start with the very obvious, the pink marker. So here's what happened. I was right. The Copic equivalent was the Bougainvillea. Now, can you tell the difference between? Because I can't. They both have the exact same smooth, full coverage. They both react the exact same way when using the blender. So if you're looking for a cheaper, but just as good quality alternative to a Copic, I would go with the touch personally. The nib feels the same, the ink flow feels the same, and if you already have some Copics, they mix together like they were made for each other. So yes, extremely satisfied. I do believe I have my own favorite right here. We barely even started the review and already have a favorite. <laughs> So yes, so something I was a little surprised, but you can't really see it anymore, is when you apply the blender freshly on either the Touch or the Copic. Uh, both these colors will turn like brightly orange peach before drying to a more normal pink. They, well, even as you can see down, whoops, down here and around the bottom of her hair, they even both bleed the same. <laughs> but... I don't think that part is really <laughs> the pen's fault. It's more like the cardstock I use. It does tend to bleed a little bit when I, like, I'm heavy-handed with my markers. But then again, I'm always heavy-handed. Speaking of, real quick, I don't know if you guys notice, I'm not using my uh, normal smudge guard because I bought a couple cheap ones off of Amazon. Uh, link will be in the description if you want some because they work just as well. And if you have a chance to save at least a, a penny on any art supplies, I encourage it. That's why the link is going to be in there. Uh, I think it was on Amazon.ca, but I'm pretty sure you can find some on Amazon.com if you are in the States. Uh, next, the Sumo Grip. Uh, though personally, I think it's because the... Oh, I forgot it there. The Edelweiss is actually a 3B, so it's already easy to erase. But it is true that it does a really good job. It barely even lifted any of the pen, but that could be the pen too. But just like with the Marabou's, I... Hey, you were focusing like three seconds ago. Come on. I'm right here. Just like with the Marabou's, I started erasing right after I put down the ink to see how well it would work. It erased the pencil, but it didn't erase the ink, barely even lifted. But then again, like I said, it could be because it's a 3B. I did not test it with an HB, which will happen eventually. So no complaints there. And it feels really good in the hand. The fact that it's more, there's more of it. It's shaped like a pen instead of an eraser. So you don't really feel the eraser going wiggling as you try to erase. You're not scared to uh, accidentally rip off a little piece while you work. So that would be a good recommendation if you're the type like me to have a little uh, carry kit. You always want your eraser to be in the little case and this one plus, see, there we go, all in. No chance of poking it with a pencil or snapping it a little bit while traveling. I have nothing new to say about the Edelweiss. Nice, creamy lead, very comfortable to use. Same goes for the Zig, uh, the Kuritake Zig. As expected, it was very good. It felt a little short. And it itself, it feels light, but it's a very good pen. Uh, no scratching. I felt a little bit of scratching, but once again, I think it was my cardstock. But like I said, very even, smooth, almost juicy coverage. But as you saw, no smudging, especially with all the blending I put in it. The ink itself did not smudge at all. So yeah, pretty impressed, pretty impressed. Finally... Uh, I didn't use enough of the Edelweiss to actually use the sharpener, but fear not, because I always have one of these in, on hand is, is my, um, well, my one of my many non-repro blue Stadler pencils that I usually use. 
Uh, here's what I did. Off camera, I used the wooden part so you can see what happens to the lead before you put it in the second part. And well, it does pretty much what I expected it to do. Look at that. It looks weird, but that's what you want it to do if you want more lead and less pencil. Like if you're the type to draw like this, which I'm totally not. <laughs> so it does what it says on the tin. And now, live, I'm going to try the second part. Uh, I also noticed maybe it's because... Oh, no, it's not. I was going to say maybe it's because I'm sharpening just the wood, the blade on this thing. Oh, my God. I've had smooth sharpeners before, but this one is smooth like butter. It's an... Whoa. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I can kill somebody with this. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, this is the sharpest point I've ever seen. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm going to put it down now before I poke an eye out. Okay, so yes, yeah, second favorite. This thing. <laughs> wow. Like, I, I'm speechless. Like, the end of the marker is really good and the pen is really good. Wow. Okay, yeah, new favorite, right on top of the marker, right there. It's smooth, it doesn't nick when you try to sharpen. And the two-step uh, process is actually pretty natural, and it gives you, like, an amazing point. Ooh, and it has a little stop so you don't sharpen too much, if you can see here under all the shavings. Wow. <laughs> Seriously, people, I, I did not expect that, especially live on camera. <laughs> Woo! Um, so, yeah, this month is absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> like, I'm super happy with everything. I, I'm definitely keeping that sharpener. This is my new favorite sharpener. I like the other portable sharpener that I got from Art Snacks a while back, but I can't really use the eraser in it because I don't know if I can... Uh, get a refill for it. I haven't found one yet, but uh, with these two to replace them, I think I'm going to be fine. Plus this one has some uh, spare blades. So that's really good. So yeah, if you are if you aren't sub subscribed to Art Snacks yet, I greatly suggest that they got some really good stuff. It's not often that I find stuff that I don't really like. Or that I frankly hate. I think it happened once in the year and a half I've been doing this. Year and a half. Almost two years. Almost. This close, really. A couple months. But, um, wow. This month is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, as I said, damn good. Recom whoop, recommended. <laughs> really good if you're into portable. Does not smudge with Copic or Blender. It's a pencil. And that's it for this month. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget there is always link links in the description to my hub, my Patreon, stuff like that. Your support is always greatly appreciated. It helps me continue to do these. And I'll see you guys next month. I love you all. Goodbye.